Hey everybody, RPG here. Today I'm going to show you guys exactly how to set up Wi-Fi on Botticero. It's a really simple process and the really cool thing about this process is you don't need to use a keyboard like you do on other emulation platforms. You can use just a regular gamepad controller and you'll get a um, keyboard display popped up on your screen. As soon as you go through this process, you'll be able to enter in all your Wi-Fi information. So that's a really nice feature and convenient um, on Botticero. So we're gonna jump into this. I'll show you exactly what you need to do step-by-step step to get this up and running. Let's get started. All right, so in order to set up Wi-Fi on Botticera, we first need to open up our main menu. So if you're using a keyboard, hit your space bar. If you're using a gamepad controller, hit your start button. That's gonna pull up the main menu like this. And about halfway down, you'll notice network settings. We're going to select network settings. And this is where we got all of our Wi-Fi information. So you wanna first make sure that this toggle right here is enabled. Enabled will be if that little circle is pulled all the way to the right here. And this is just to make sure that Wi-Fi is turned on. From here, you're going to go down to Wi-Fi SSID. We're going to select this. And you'll see here a list of available networks. You're just going to select your network. The first time doing this, sometimes people have reported that they don't find their network. So all you have to do is just go down and hit refresh once or twice. And it will populate into the list. So go ahead and select the network that you want to connect to. Once you do that, it'll bring you back here to network settings, and we're just gonna go down to the next option, which is Wi-Fi key. Wi-Fi key is where we're gonna enter in our password for the specific network that we're connecting to. So we'll select this option, and this is where it's really convenient because it gives you a keyboard display on here. So you can go ahead and enter all this in. With a gamepad controller, you don't need to have an external keyboard. So go ahead and enter in your password. Once you're done entering in your password, you'll notice that all the way over here on the right hand side, there's a little check mark. So you just wanna go over here and hit that check mark. Once you've entered in your password, I'm gonna skip ahead here and show you exactly how that looks once it's all completed. And you can see here now back on the network settings page, we have our password entered in there. It's all covered up for privacy purposes, but it is populated in. So. Now all we need to do is we're gonna actually hit back. And what I recommend doing is just rebooting your system just to make sure that all these changes take effect in here. So I'm going to go down to quit. I'm going to go to restart system here. And we're gonna reboot our entire system. Once we come back up, we'll be able to test this out and make sure that our connection is 100% connected. All right, so I just rebooted my system here. So I'm going to open up main menu once again, drop back down to network settings. And you can see here for internet status, it's now been changed to connected. And this first line here is just my IP address, which I've blocked out just for um, privacy purposes. But um, everything is fully connected as per the internet status here. So uh, that's going to conclude this video. It shows you exactly how to go in here and set this up. All right, so as you can see from this process, it's super easy, super straightforward. So that's going to do it for today. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, smash the like button for me. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. We do a ton of different videos on here based around retro gaming. So we do product reviews, gameplay demos, tutorials just like this one. A lot of great stuff on here. So if you haven't hit the subscribe button already, definitely hit the subscribe button and you'll get notified every time we put out new videos. Um, in addition to that, check us out online on our website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.